Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we have a Halloween creative sim, which is so exciting. I absolutely love this time of year, but before I dive into everything, I have some explaining to do about why the creative sim video looks like this. But first, I wanted to say welcome to our second annual spooky week. So last year, I went ahead and did five days of creative sims leading up to Halloween. And this year, I'm going to be doing creative sims, but also including a couple other games games or maybe one other game I don't know I haven't decided if I'm gonna record another game but I've been playing a lot of phasmophobia and I have like probably 15 hours of footage that I could edit down and make into a good video so that's a video that I really really want to um, make and upload because I've been having so much fun with that but the reason the video looks the way it does is because well I have an issue <laughs> with my mouse apparently so yesterday I was witnessing like this double clicking that was happening and I was like what the heck is going on and I was like okay maybe like I'll wake up and then my computer's gonna be fine and my mouse is gonna work no that's not the case so I went to go record this video I pressed start recording and I guess it double clicked and it pressed stop recording literally a second after so I have a second clip of when I started the video and I was just like oh my god and this whole time I thought I didn't even record it I was like almost sure that I pressed record so this is why the video is like this because what I went ahead and did is, since I had the final sim, well, almost the final sim, like I was about to be done and then I realized it wasn't recording. I was like, oh my God. And so basically what I did is I went ahead and hit the undo button and then I started redoing it and that's when I started recording it. So I apologize that it's in this format, but I just love this sim so much that I didn't want to like completely scrap the idea or try and remake her because I already had the sim and I didn't like do anything to like get rid of her. I was still in creative sim so yeah this sim originally as you guys can see she has like a different vibe to what the outcome ended up being so my original plan for her was to make her be like a part of a coven like be the supreme and then I was just like I wasn't feeling it like I was looking at her face and for some reason she was reminding me of Zoella I don't know why and I was just like you know what I'm not feeling this so I decided to go a different route because I remembered I had this hair I believe I downloaded this Simblarine I don't really participate in Simblarine where you actually go and trick-or-treat because my anxiety is like through the roof so I just am scared to message people <laughs> um, privately so I didn't participate I never have I think it's been going on for a few years now and I think the first time I heard about it was either 2016 or 2017 and I still haven't participated I just download whatever I can get later on but this hair has like little devil horns and I love it so this creative sim went into a different route of making like a devil's daughter or something like that so I also found this dress by I believe it was Madeline I think if you guys know I know them primarily from making shoes I didn't even know they made clothing and one day I think I stumbled upon their actual like tumblr page and I was just going through and I was like what how have I never seen clothing because I think I usually when I shop from them it's on uh, the sims resource so I was like, oh my god, they have some good stuff, I'm telling you. I will have a CC list linked down below for you guys of everything that's being used. I made a sim last night because I downloaded so much custom content, so if you guys are looking for new CC, head over to my CC finds tumblr. There's going to be stuff being reblogged for like uh, the next week, I want to say. So there's a lot queued up for you guys to go ahead and download. But I literally made such a cute sim yesterday. I had a base sim save from one time that I was trying to make a sim, but I either gave up or I was just not feeling it. So I used that base and I made her and oh my god, I'm in love. Like literally, I regret not <laughs> recording. I, I don't know why this happens to me. Every time I like don't record, I make like such an amazing sim or make really good sims and I'm just like, Man, I could have pressed record and that could have been a really good video, but you know what? It's fine. It's okay. I'll go ahead and post a picture of her here so you guys can see what she looks like, but I, I just, I love her vibe and everything and I, it makes me want to post on Tumblr a little bit more because back in the day, I used to like post gameplay uh, stories and stuff and used to post other sims and I kind of want to start posting just sims randomly. I've also had this idea of really wanting to make one sim every day of the year. It would definitely be a challenge for sure and knowing me it probably won't work but maybe if I'm determined enough I could do something like that. It'd be really awesome to be able to like make a creative sim video every day but 
I feel like that would be a lot to do because in that case I would probably just upload them and not even talk over them because that would be too much, <laughs> too much effort if I'm being real. So I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to do something like that, either post them on Instagram or on Tumblr or maybe I will try in the future. Who knows? Knowing me, <laughs> I might forget or I'd have to make up making Sims or I could make a multiple Sims at once, honestly. So I guess we'll see what, what happens, but I, I've been having that idea for a really long time now and I think it'd be fun, but I was thinking about it now. Maybe I could come up with a different video format where maybe like I showcase the Sims that I made that week or like record every single one that I make and then make like a seven day compilation. And like at the end of the week, there's like seven Sims in one video, if that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of Sims for one video. It had to be like really sped up or something. I'd really have to think about it, but who knows? It's an idea. <laughs> I'm really excited to do some more Halloween creative sims because I just, I absolutely love this time of year. I really do in being able to like express it in the sims as well is kind of fun. I know I enjoyed last year's a lot and if you guys haven't seen last year's creative sims, I highly suggest you guys go ahead and check them out. There's, oh, they're like probably some of my favorite creative sims that I have done ever. And I know I probably said that about a lot of my creative sim videos, but I just, I had so much fun last year. I'll link them all down in the description if you guys haven't seen them. But with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. I ended up really liking how she turned out. Obviously, probably could have recorded it a little bit differently because, you know, I was having some technical issues. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are ready for more spooky content coming soon. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.